Well, that, uh, that's probably an enlightening discussion for a lot of us who uh, were not aware of this function even existing in the marketplace. I certainly wasn't. And uh, find it uh, find it quite fascinating. Maybe we've got some, some questions for you on that, uh, Christina. I think rather than me posing questions to the panels, I'd like to see what the audience has by way of reactions to these presentations, and if the audience has things that they would like us to develop a bit further, pose the question, and we'll see on uh, on the panel who would like to take it on. So the the floor is to you. Christina, how do you get your information? Yeah, pretty good question. I can tell you. <laughs> yeah. No questions for you. Um, should I answer at once, or should we collect questions? No, go ahead. Yeah, go. Yeah. Um, we have a participat participatory uh, rating approach, so we um, we don't send out questionnaires like, for example, uh, Sam does, but we start uh, completing our rating ourselves based on publicly available information, so uh, sustainability reports, fact books, annual reports, website information, and, of course, external information, so from environmental organizations, and uh, then send the first draft rating report to the companies analyzed, and then we asked the companies to complement missing information and also to make some corrections where we have uh, maybe misinterpreted data. And, and so that's how we come to our final rating results. Maybe, uh, Manuel, you'd like to talk about it from the corporate side, where you, uh, you, were, the furnace, you were the supplier of the information, I would presume, and why, uh, why Total would find it useful to talk to a company that could pan it later on. <laughs> well, uh, Oecom is one of the of the the company we we answer the questionnaire uh, because there are many. Yeah? So uh, they, the way they do it is, I think, is quite uh, smart because they do the job, as you explain, and then they submit the first draft to us, and then there is a discussion and a dialogue before issuing the the final one. Uh, it's not always, the, and it's quite constant. I mean, there is no, you are comparing also the consistency from the, your previous analysis and all that. So the work is done uh, with, uh, with a lot of attention, which is not always the case. You have some, uh, some other agency like the, the CDB, for example. Every year you receive uh, adding and adding a lot of questions where you don't understand the finality of the question even when you discuss with them and then there is a non-transparent classification because uh, with OECOM, you, we have a discussion also on different criteria. Uh, we try to understand why and they explain us. So there is also in their side a kind of uh, transparency towards us. Some other agencies don't, don't give transparency on the way they, they calibrate their, uh, their analysis and all that. So... Uh, I think, uh, anyway, it pushes us to make progress, but it's not perfect because um, uh, the evaluation is made, as uh, Christina said, by, by looking at what we issue. Mm -hmm. uh, for sure, they look at consistency, but if we have a, a very good communication, uh, uh, I have myself uh, one uh, guy uh, very aware of that. If he does a very good job, he can I mean, twist a bit. The reality. It's not the case uh, in total because we want to be transparent, but you can imagine that uh, sometimes you analyze a company through a twisted information. I mean, it's to you to answer how you do with that, because sometimes it seems like a concours de beauté. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if you really think that you manage to uh, to get to the right information with everybody. Yeah. I don't know what kind of uh, quality checking you can do because you're not going to get information on that company from anybody else. You can observe them in the marketplace, but you basically have to rely on what they tell you and uh, to some extent what you can observe. Yeah, we, 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 we are heavily dependent on company information, but um, as these companies are all uh, publicly listed companies, we have quite a deal of uh, confidence in reports that, that have, have been audited and what we also do uh, as a kind of re reality check, you may say, that we also 
uh, consult external sources and, and if someone uh, makes a, a statement that is contradictory to what the company says, we, we try to, to, to balance the information and, and find out what is true. But uh, you're right, uh, the, the rating can only be as good as the information you have available. But but it, I think it's the same with the to, financial rate. To add something, I, I, I like Wacom because they have rated us as the first uh, in the IOCs uh, of the prime last year, so I'm very happy with what they do. Yeah, okay, <laughs> well, the results were good. So yes. we are the best. So. <laughs> it's, a, it's another sort of standard and poor's that you have to worry about in the marketplace that people are evaluating your, uh, your value as a function of your environmental but performance. And happily, I think that Christophe, we say, doesn't help our, my, my, my uh, the, the the share of, the, of our stock. Huh? So I don't know really if you are, if you influence really the, the investors. Because we, total, we are very well rated, basically. I don't know if it, I have to be proud of it. But I'm not sure that uh, Christophe find it, uh, find that you have enough uh, influence on investors. <laughs> <laughs> Christophe, I put you in the ring. No, no, you, you can stay out of the ring, Christophe. But the, but the, uh, the, whole, the, the whole function is quite fascinating because we need this kind of an evaluation, we need this kind of appraisal, we need this kind of feedback to our boards of directors, mm -hmm. to our shareholders, to our publics about how our companies are comporting mm -hmm. themselves. And even if it's necessarily imperfect because the criteria can be subjective, the information can yeah. be incomplete, uh, things can happen, it still is the beginning of a process that's going to hold people's feet to the fire as to how they comport themselves. But now, do you do this for all firms or just the publicly listed firms? For instance, is CNPC on your list? Uh, no. no. No, because they are not... Uh, no, they, they must be um, issuers of shares or bonds. If mm. not, our, our customers would not be interested and not pay for this research. Mm. So, yeah. some of the other companies would. <laughs> The, the thing is, for for the time being, those uh, ratings are uh, are can be only negative, but cannot be positive. So it's used if you are not well listed or well rated, it can have a negative impact on your stock. If you are in uh, investors, which are what we call green investors, that by definition counts for much more than when it is a quote unquote normal listing. So it depends on the category of investors. But I mean, if you take the normal investors, I don't know what is a normal investor, but I mean, it will use this much more as, as uh, negative if you are not better than C, but I mean, if you are A, they say, good, you A, that's normal. So by the way, that's not abnormal because I mean, we should be better than C. The, the only concern I had on, on your slide is when I saw Enron, which proved to be the best crook <laughs> and was the best rated. So <laughs> that's proof that they were quite good in, in being very, very nasty, but that's another story. Uh, I, have, I have a question on, on this. It's, um, we, we, we are followed by investors. We are followed by you, by investors who are having what we call uh, ratings for what we're doing in terms of business and what we're doing in terms of social responsibility. More and more in total, as Manuel said, we consider that's something in common. So a project cannot be something and social responsibility. It has to be included. As you said, it has to be economically viable. So it has to be part of the project. Now, saying this, it's nice. Then we go and see all of those ISS or ESS and all those uh, agencies who are delivering uh, what I call uh, reason to vote for or against. You will see they only take the corporate governance. And in the same, let's say for instance, bank, you have people in charge of Total for is it a good uh, company in terms of return, in terms of dividend in some blah, 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 reserve, et cetera, production. And then you have the social responsibility group. They don't speak to each other. They don't, they don't share the same views. And at the end, for the quote unquote stock value, you have the financial part. And for the votes at the annual general meeting, you have the social responsibility part of the investment group. Don't you think it's a time now 
especially for you, to deliver the message that, as you say to companies, you have to make it as one single element for decision. Why aren't you, not you, this system capable of proving by yourself that you can do it? Because finally, you send a very bad image. I mean, uh, to say, okay, it's, it's different. To vote, it's only corporate governance. And then, and then to buy the shares, it's profit. Should be, in my view, the same integration, to use your word, or the word of Manuel, it should be integrated. And I think it will help us. I'm putting it as helping because I strongly believe that it's for help and not to kill. And if you want to help us, just try to force people to put the same things as one objective and not to split it into, mm. into tranches. Now, I mean, I don't know what's your view on this. Yeah. I think it's important that in the end all information comes together to get one picture. But I think it's very good that we have separated these pieces of work to, to not be in a sort of conflict of interest to see that, oh, these financial data are great. I would really love to recommend that company and that could influence the assessment of the, the environmental and social and governance part. So I think um, you're perfectly right that in the end, the investment de decision should depend on a, on a well-rounded, complete picture of what a company does and all of these aspects. But I think for the evaluation of the single aspects, um, it's good to have experts on each side. Mm -hmm. okay, but my point was on purpose to avoid that it's only experts, but that you have a global view of the company. Because a company, for instance, can be very good in social responsibility, but, but making losses. And I don't believe that the company which is making losses is social responsible. <laughs> <laughs>